Um, this um, video is all about um, paper two, and in particular section B of paper two. Now, if I go to the textbook, which is what we've been using for the uh, for computer science, um, and if you've not got this, I do recommend getting a hard copy of it. But if I go to the contents, you can see we've got section one, and that's broken up into broken down. This is all the theory for paper one, broken up into um, eight. Um, chapters. But in chapter 9, we've got less chapters. Sorry, in, in, in section 2, in chapter 9, so we've got chapter 9, we've got chapter 10, chapter 11, chapter 12, and chapter 13. Um, now, if we look at chapter 11 and chapter 12, this is these are basically to do with the um, pre-release material that you will get um, after Christmas or at the very, very beginning of the new year. But the other two, chapter 9 and chapter 10, make up part B of paper 2, and that is what we're going to be looking at today, part B of paper 2. Okay? So, uh, what I'm using um, to is some existing past papers, and if you go to papacambridge.com, past papers, if you do a Google search on this, you can get to all the past papers that are available, um, both paper one and paper two. And if you click, and it gives you the MS is for mark scheme, and the um, PM is for pre-release material, and QP, of course, is for question papers. So what I've got is a series of question papers down here I've downloaded. Um, February 2020, all the way back to 2018. Now the question papers on Papa Cambridge start go right right back to 2015, and they're all very 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 similar. Okay, so I'm going to open up February March 2020 and give you a breakdown of what needs to be done. Now for this, I'll just zoom in if it'll allow me onto this bit. Um, we have the timing, an hour and 45 minutes. Now what the total marks for this paper are is are 50, but how that works, it doesn't explain this on the front, how that works is it takes 20 marks for section A, which is all based around the pre-release material, and it's 30 marks for the rest of it. So chapter 9, chapter 10, and then the database chapter, and I'll go through, and that's what I want to go through today, section B. What it does say, and it doesn't say on this one, but what it does recommend, and it does recommend on, on some of the previous papers, is you only take 40 minutes, only take 40 minutes to attempt the um, questions that are based around task one, two, and three of the pre-release material. Now, if I go down and show you this, and this should look familiar to you. It does say at the top here, look, don't spend any longer than 40 minutes on this section. Okay, so the other over an hour and five minutes, you're going to be focusing on, on section B. So um, just very, very quickly for this, these 20 marks, most of them are based around task one. Okay, you can see here you've got seven marks here for, for doing questions relating to task one. And all this is is what you've given the names of your variables and your constants within the task. Okay, still referring to task one, another four marks, that's so 11 marks, so as I say, over 50% of the marks are now purely based on task one. Task two, we've got five marks there, and task three, in fact, yeah, and task three, we've got four marks on that. So that's, say, 20 marks out of the 50 are on section A, but we are gonna focus on section B. Now, section B is broken down into usually into three parts based on the chapters. The first part will be a question to do with pseudocode or a or a, the presentation of uh, an existing algorithm that's been written generally in pseudocode, okay, such as the one here. Now, you can pick up eight marks for this, but basically, on this particular one, you're identifying errors, how you would correct the errors, and then rewriting that pseudocode, yeah, rewriting that, you've got the format for things there um, in the space there, okay? 
The next question, again in the book, we're talking about flowcharts, but in this one, we're talking about trace tables. Okay, so again, we're given a set of numbers, a set of figures, set one, set two, and set three. It's basically saying, okay, if I put these numbers in to this flowchart on the left hand side, what will happen? Okay, and again, eight marks are given there. Yeah, a little bit of validation, but then the next question, the final part, is all about databases. Okay, and it's nice and simple. You need to understand, and it even gives you them on this particular question, the different types of um, data types in a database. So we've got text, yeah, it's not a string, it's not a um, char, but it's text, okay, um, number. This one isn't an integer, it's not a float, it's called number. Currency, again, it will have a dollar sign or a pound sign or a euro sign in front of it. And Boolean, which you know is either yes or no, true or false. Yeah, so you look on that and you can basically pick out, um, put in so the, what, what is, why have you specified whatever data type for size, yeah. And you work through those, you've got five there, and you get five marks. And then you've got a query by example table, nice and simple, and then writing your own query by example table. So there's 10 marks for the database question. Okay, 10 marks. So that's half, because they're doing this particular question here, that's half the marks that you would get, um, sort of the equivalent of doing section A and answering questions to do with the pre release. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the uh, question, the um, question paper, and then we'll work through it and make sure you understand it. I'm going to start with the very first question, okay? And do this as an example. Just um, this first part, the pseudocode part, okay? And then I'm going to do this for three or four exam papers, okay? But just as a recap, so, um, paper two. Um, is made up of two sections. Section A is the pre-release material. Section B are the other chapters in the textbook, which include um, pseudocode, flowcharts, and trace tables. Yeah, a little bit on validation, and in this case, databases. There will always be database questions. There will always be trace table questions um, linking to a flowchart and there will always be a pseudocode question of sorts, okay? And of course, so and that is 30 marks out of the 50 for section B. This is the most important bit, in my opinion. I mean, realistically, you need to attempt all of it, but this is the most important part. You need to make sure you understand this, okay? And you've got an hour and 45 minutes to answer both section A and section B.